okay now in today's video i will show you how you can transform this image into this one so i got this photo that i'm going to use and i already removed this background here so we start off from here and i'm going to use this for the background so let's copy this and put this in the file and put it behind the deer now let's make a smart object and resize this all right i want to make sure you don't see this road here so i want to manipulate this like like this deer is standing in in the forest and not somewhere on the road so i want to make sure this road is out of this frame so i'm gonna do it like this and let's blur this background out so we have all our focus on this deer so blur gaussian blur and you can really blur this out because this is like a close-up shot and we don't really need the background just a little bit of the background all right let's lighten up this deer this deer is really light so let's start off with the background here i want to make it darker because i want to have more focus on this deer instead of the background so i'm going to create a curves mask here curves adjustment layer and make sure to press this and let's drop this highlights so now we have even more focus on this deer now we can lighten up the deer so we're gonna also do some curves on this deer and this one we're gonna make darker because i want to lighten up this side of this deer like there's lighting coming from that side so i'm gonna drop this and let's also do some mid-tones here so we have a little bit more contrast and a little bit up like that maybe even more all right let's make another curves mask and this time i'm gonna make lighter areas so i'm gonna bring up the highlights like that maybe a little bit less all right let's remove this mask again so i'm gonna click on this mask press d on your keyboard so i have white to black and just press ctrl command backspace now i want to select a normal brush pick a white color and start brushing this side of this deer lighter again so we're going to create lighting from the right side of this image and i'm assuming there's a little bit light coming here also when i said this ear is blocking some light so i'm not gonna brush it here but these parts and especially this side of his face let's make sure the eye stays visible all right this is the layer that we made darker here we can also do some brushing and here we can remove some areas so let's make the brush bigger and start brushing this side again and i think it's a little bit too much so i'm gonna drop the opacity here of the brush and do it a little bit less so not 100 percent we can do 100 percent at the edge of this deer so like these places So we can create some nice golden deer from this image. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I want to create some huge situation here. So I'm going to create a huge situation mask. Press this again. And as you can see, there's a little bit of green from the original background. So I'm going to select green here and bring that all the way down and let's also do yellow bring the yellow a little bit down and the master so we can bring all the colors slightly down just a little bit all right let's do the same with this background new situation and bring the colors down all right let's do some more lighting we can create some lights here so i'm going to create a new layer and pick some some color like this like pinkish yellow and let's create light on the right side of this image so i'm assuming there's a light source here so i want a little bit of light coming from there let's make this lighter okay now i can do some dodge and burn so i'm gonna create a new layer here 
create the clipping mask and go to edit fill and choose 50% gray so now we can make dark areas from this deer I'm gonna select the burn tool and do the highlights then the midtones and as less the shadows Alright, I want to make this deer a little bit sharper, so I'm going to select this deer layer and go to filter, camera raw filter, and bring up the, the sharpening here. I can zoom in, you can see the difference if you bring this up, it gets a little bit sharper than the original one, and it's a little bit of luminance, so it still looks natural like that. I got these flowers here that I'm going to use for the foreground so we can create more depth in this image. So what I'm going to do here is just make them really big like the front of the camera and make them darker, add some curves to it. Because they're close to the camera we need to have some contrast in them so we need to make them really dark, dark like that and also drop the hue and saturation. Just make sure I press this. All right, now we can blur them out. So I'm gonna select this layer of these these flowers and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So now we have some nice depth in this image. Like this deer is standing behind these leaves, flowers, whatever they are. And I'm just gonna select these, all these layers, put them in a folder and duplicate that folder so you can move the second folder around and place some more flowers around it. Maybe we don't even need this part so I can just brush this away. I don't want to have it too much, I just want to see most of these deer, so I'm going to do it like this. Just a little bit on the bottom to create some depth. Alright, let's add some, a little bit of reflection here to this deer, so this is the deer layer. Let's see what it is, here it is, and I'm going to create a new layer on top of it, create a clipping mask and some orange reflections of this light to this deer so especially on this side and just change the blending mode here to overlay so if this nice orange glow now from this light and let's drop the opacity I don't want to have it too much just a little bit Right, let's run this into Lightroom to do some final adjustments. Got this as a PNG file into Lightroom and only thing I have to do now is just apply one of my presets. And you can find all these in the description down below. So I got this one now and let's do another preset. Maybe you can combine them in Photoshop. All right, so I got this file from Lightroom and this one. I think this one's really cool. So I'm gonna put this above all the other layers so you can see the difference here. This is without Lightroom and this is with. It's a lot different now and this one looks also nice. So it's sometimes it's even difficult to pick one because I like them both, but you gotta make a choice. So I'm gonna use them both, drop the opacity here and the same goes for this one. And now we can do some final adjustments here, like adding some curves. Get that light even lighter. A little bit more black. 
and let's do some green here and as final some color balance to get all the colors right i think i like it like that like red red and blue so yeah that is it that is this little tutorial to make this cool image so thanks for watching hope you like my videos and don't forget to like this video if you do and see you in the next one